Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Sorry for headphone users. Hello everyone. Welcome back to building with Benito. So, do I have any cooking? No. Oh, I did. I did. Uh, some stuff cooking. So last time uh, we started to do map in the crater. All fine and great. And as I said, next time we're going to be changing text pack every now and again. So we're going to get started. We moved on from the silver mines to Ozocraft, which is quite a cool one. Um, there are two issues I have with this one. I'm actually going to cover these ones. One is it's a bit dark, and my brightness is at usual 50%, but I might have to up it today. The other is this the shadows. They are weird as hell. Ah, these two can breed. Make baby. And it's the same with items. I mean, you can see how the shadows are all screwy. We're going to try and ignore that for today because I expect that's going to be something that will be fixed soon. And I realised last time, so I tried to go caving and failed quite horribly, is that guy's got armour. This is the bridge I'd built. Um, we're going to get into that in a bit. Oh, this armour. There you go. Um, so we died down there quite a few times. And it made me realize I'm actually going to up my brightness. Just because of this texture pack. I'm going to put it up to 80%. That's a bit better. I realized um, I don't have to go straight down. Why do I have to rush straight down? If I'm going to be building in this entire area, I should start up here. So I did. And I made the storage room, which you probably saw earlier, which I completely forgot to mention until just now. Uh, so I built this um, little storage room. haven't finalized the design yet. But it's just somewhere I can start by putting all my things in. So everything's been moved down here. Uh, I don't actually need the stone bricks with me. Or a furnace. I'm going to take charcoal with us. I'm going to take some of the wood with us. And that should be fine for us to head down into the caves. I've got uh, full iron armor except for boots, which leather, and an iron sword. So hopefully we'll get some stuff done. So the way I'm going to make this work is going to be various... Um, I'm basically going to try and work within the cave structure and you know only hollow out when needed so I think this is iron here yep that's a bit of iron ore and then, so we've got this big big ass ravine right there there is a very enchanted guy over there Ooh. stop it stop it Alright, where's he shooting me from? Oh, he's over there. We can't not get him then. We're going to leave him be then. Alright, let's go this way then. So you see, since I have to basically conquer all these caves anyway to build in them, I may as well start at the top and work my way down, which is pretty much what I'm doing. And like I said, um, I am going to be changing... What is that spider doing? Oh, I see he's like up there really. I cannot reach him. I'll leave him there. He's not causing me any harm at the moment. Just get a bit of light. And the main resources I need to get at the moment is iron again, since I have used it all up. I'm actually going to go full 100%, just because it's such a dark texture pack, and it's, it's a bit of a shame, because I do like, especially the items, I like the iron textures a lot on it. But just the brightness is really a bit of a killer for me. So you can probably hear I'm a bit stuffy today. Um, seems hay fever season has come to the UK where I live and that was completely fine until one day it just suddenly went, oh yeah you have hay fever, bam in your face and I was like, ah, bleh, achoo, achoo, bleh. very sniffly so sorry about that. I mean even when I've been taking stuff to try and clear it up it hasn't really been helping. Not mean to fall down here. It's so dark. Ooh, is that that enchanted guy? That is the enchanted guy. And a slime ball. Let's take him out. Oh God. Going all over the place. Right, he's taken care of. I'm gonna die to the normal guy now, though. Did he actually drop anything? No, and I'm covered in arrows. I'm going to wait to see if that last guy does that. There we go. 
these two is easy to take care of. So let's light this baby up. And it was just a bit of coal. So I think it's a slime ball or something. Okay, so that's better. No actual good loot from him, so it's a complete waste of my time and life actually. Did I just say something? No. So it's a complete waste of time, but there is quite a bit of iron in this room, so we'll get over that real quick. So yeah, the last video, um, I'm still waiting for some responses to something, because I got a bit impatient, in all honesty, and I uh, got ahead of myself and recorded this one, so that's why I'm not responding to anything from the last video, because I'm still waiting for the responses. My bad. But after this one, this is going to be my last caving one. Uh, I'll do some proper building in the next one on this world. I just got to clear the area out so it's suitable for building. I'm surprised I can reach that. How long are your arms? Could be like a slender man or something to reach that high. There we go. We've got about 24 iron now, so. So I'm missing one. Okay. Oh, it's night time. See, I'm going to improve this bridge is probably what's going to happen next episode. Because I have a few ideas on how I want to do that. Hopefully look quite cool. Ooh. Is that gold or no? Just the way the lighting was working on it. So, like, these caves are going to be very good for resourcing. I doubt we're going to have to do any strip mining unless I deliberately want to go for diamonds. That's worried I thought I had a zombie. The sound feels a bit low as well. Let's turn that up a bit. And I will also do that. Hopefully that's helped a bit. There we go. So yeah, like I said, hopefully resource finding won't be an issue because I can just cave for it. Jeez, it's going to take me like weeks before I actually finally plot out these caves. I wish there was some sort of cave map you could get. Um, like I obviously know you can get the proper maps. Ooh, that could do something. I could, um, using the proper maps that you can get, build a sort of, using wool probably, a sort of sheet in the sky and then try and map out my tunnel, if that makes sense. So if I followed the coordinates, it'd be a very long project to not doing that, especially just get the wolf to start. If I mapped out, um, like it all on the coordinate wise, I could then build it in the air, you know, match the coordinates, and have a gener general trail of where everything is. God, that'd be an ambitious project, wouldn't it? And uh, that would have to be something I'd mostly do off camera. Because that would just take forever and a year. So, uh, you may have noticed videos are slowed down a bit. And that's because I'm job hunting at the moment. Which in some ways gives me more time. But in some ways it just... You know, too much of a good thing can be bad for you. And I've basically had too much time to play Minecraft and that. And uh, the regular game's got a bit boring even with 1.6 now out oh god help me bad me but um even with 1.6 out it's still a bit eh, bland for me which is again partially the reason why i did start this new world damn it i keep coming out of nowhere uh, yeah but it's partly why i started this new world a zombie to bring a bit of excitement back to it so Especially with, like Hive Miner Feed the Beast, you probably noticed there hasn't been any of that for a little while, and that's because I'm just. With so many ideas, I'm actually out of ideas. I just feel a bit overwhelmed by, like, I could do this, or I could do that, or I could go do this, and then it's like, oh, I don't really want to do any of that, it's a bit too much. Which is why there's been no Hive Miner for a little bit. Still go on there occasionally, and still talk to all the guys, of course, but. It's just one of those things. Ooh, I do like the moon. That's really awesome looking. Some of the little things like that are just really the best. I do need to go to the Never soon at some point, so I'm gonna have to probably do the bucket trick 
to make a a cheap portal before I get any diamonds. I want to get down to there really. So can I? There we go. We're across. So I want to get to the Never, so I can get glowstone mostly. But of course, things like potions and ah, uh, what else is there? Potions, Never brick. I know there's one other thing I'm forgetting from the Never. Really cannot remember it. So many things you get from the Never: potions, Never brick, quartz, quartz. How could I forget quartz? Quartz is awesome. Yeah, I'm mostly still trying to work my way around this crater to find all the best little spots to get into. This is quite a good one. I can hear a slime. Like I said, I don't need to necessarily aim to go super deep right off the bat, so. I need to get some more. Oh no, I got loads of coal still. I'm just getting rid of all that charcoal I made over there. So there'll be no rush to get to the top, so you can see I've circled back around here. Good thing I did, because I would have missed the iron. So we've nearly made a full stack of iron today. I'm probably going to wrap up the core quite soon, just have a little short one for you guys today. And I may go sort of in lieu of the way uh, my friend zuljan has been going, and with his Cobblestone Chronicles series, what he's been doing for that is he's just been... He's moved to a new area on his map and is just doing everything on camera. He's just doing one 15 sort of minute play session a day. It's all on camera so you never miss anything. But I won't do everything on camera because I know there's quite a bit of stuff I can, can do that would be quite repetitive because I'm going to be in these caves a while clearing out, you know, lighting it up, getting resources. And then because I'm building underground, there's going to be a lot of me just digging out cobblestone to make room for things even though I am going to try and stick with the cave structure so for example if we come out here we could have say a little enchanting station put into this wall but it still would mean I'd have to dig out a bit to make a little storage section so it would still mean there would be digging involved there's a random bit of experience there huh Interesting. I want to find that slime. God, these caves just go on and on. Alright, I'm going to actually get a curve back round now since we're getting near the end. And yeah, I'm just trying to. Oh, I'm back up here. This is actually. Right up here round the back of the crater where I first came in. That's quite interesting. Got so much iron over there, there's some there, it's there. Best map ever. Well best map I found for just harvesting resources. Let's put that in and I'll take half this out. There we go. Okay, we'll leave that to cook. Throw everything else away. And I'll wrap it off here. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to leave any comments and questions down below. Um, again, let me know what you think about the texture pack things. Change it up every episode, a few episodes. No texture pack at all. Stick with one. You know. Let me know which you'd prefer. And I will take all comments into account. So next time we do some building, probably this bridge in this little area here. So I will see you next time for a bit of building. Toodles.